My barbecue pulled pork nachos are super cheesy and loaded with tender pulled pork. To start, I'll make a spice rub. I'll get a tablespoon of paprika, a tablespoon of garlic powder, and a tablespoon of onion powder, and then a tablespoon of kosher salt, and then a little bit of sweetness with two teaspoons of brown sugar. I'll whisk this to combine, and now I'll grab my pork. I've got pork shoulder here that's been cut into pieces, and this is gonna get so tender and juicy. I'm gonna toss this with my spice rub now. Okay, my pork is coated in the spice rub, and now in my Dutch oven here, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of oil, and now I'll add my pork and sear it on all sides. I wanna get some nice brown color to lock in that flavor. Now while this browns, I'll grab my onion. I'll slice this up and throw this into the pot and it'll add really nice sweetness. Stir it around and I'm gonna let these soften. Okay, now the last thing that this needs is some chicken stock. And this chicken stock is gonna help the pork cook and give it so much flavor. Okay, and now I'll bring this to a boil. Okay, now that this is boiling, I'm gonna cover it up and I'll stick it in the oven and it's gonna braise at 300 degrees for two and a half hours. All right, I'm gonna check on my pork. Oh, it smells so smoky and good. Then I'm gonna get it out of the braising liquid and then I'm gonna shred it. and then prep all of my toppings for the nachos. I've got sliced red onion, diced bell pepper, chopped pineapple, and sliced pepperoncini. Okay, now it's time to assemble. And making nachos is all about layering. I'm gonna start by layering half of my corn chips on the bottom of a skillet. I'll get one even layer here, and then I'm gonna layer on some of my pulled pork, but I'm first gonna mix it with some barbecue sauce. I'll mix this around. And now I'll scatter on half of my pulled pork. Good, even distribution. Now I'm gonna add some pepperoncini. And chopped pineapple will add great sweetness. Now my red pepper. These colors are so bright and beautiful. And my sliced red onion. All right, and I'll drizzle on a little more barbecue sauce. And then some mozzarella will melt and hold everything together. I'll finish this up with a little more barbecue sauce and the rest of my mozzarella. And now I'll stick this in the oven at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes until it's all melty and hot and gooey and good. Oh my goodness, these look and smell amazing. My family is gonna go crazy for these. 